to game two of our doubleheader on BTN, presented by U.S. Cellular, Nebraska, and Minnesota. Early on in this game, 14-30 to play, Nebraska by seven. Corey Provis alongside Stephen Bardo. These two teams meeting for the 76th time. And now Coffey oh. missed the dunk. Deflected, and Palmer runs it down. Washington back defensively. James Palmer Jr. really is. He's able to poke the ball away. Get create space going to the rim. Second time we've seen Kalsher. So Richard Pitino going to his bench for the first time. Washington with the ball right now. The sophomore point guard. And Washington smooth. Off the we have to go high screen and roll, and Glenn's got to make something happen. Watson with six. Watson around Washington, and sure enough, he did. Foot speed advantage over Washington. Kalsher off the Murphy screen for three. Stockman tips it up and in. Golfers, well, Isaiah Roby back in, challenging, shooting over Stockman. That two is short. Amir Harris, the freshman offensive rebound. And he kicks it back out to Palmer. Amir Harris is an elite athlete. athlete. Really? Uh-oh. Oh! No miss here. That off. And this Nebraska. This Nebraska team will really take advantage of, of good leads, and so Minnesota, this is a dangerous zone right here. They can't let this get too far out of hand. On right here, they can't let this get too far out of hand. Thomas Allen averaging seven points per game. Looking on the spot, that was Evan Taylor and Anton. And Sports app. Let's go! Great point. With the lead going to 20 games, Corey, he said 12 games per team will be decided by two possessions or less. I totally agree. Allen for three. A two-point wins early in conference play. Northwestern, a couple of two-point losses early yep. in league play. Yep. I think it's going to be like that the whole way through. And so a team... ...conference games to adapt to the 20-game league schedule. That's new this year. Off the turnover. Here's Amir Coffey. Copeland with two fouls. Can't challenge too much. It's going right at it. Allen's pass deflected. Brady Hyman. Pressure. Nebraska and takes some pressure yet again off the interior scoring. First in-state signee in 16 years as Coffee is fouled. Okay, going away from the bucket. Points two of three at the line. He has scored in double figures, even going back. against Murphy. He'll drive. Challenged by two defenders. Missed it. Hyman's put back is there. As Murphy shoots over. Copeland. Stockman tapped it back out and a fresh 30. Coffee over a Kenton for three. Brown wanted a walk. Watson lost it. And here come the Gophers. McBrayer. Coffee! Another missed dunk this time. A thing here tonight. As Amir Coffey's at the, his teammates, you see the patch. And how about this class move from Tim Miles and the Huskers? Shoot around, rest in peace. Tyra, and you see Dupree. Uh, Richard Pitino, he shared a great story this week about an early memory he had of Tyra when he was recruiting. Dupree McGrayer knocked out of bounds, and lasagna 10 a.m., and they loved it. Uh, great. About, it's really about relationships. I mean, it, you know, these the rebounds. That was a major league rebound. He came a long way out of his own space to corral that. Against Roby, and the Gophers lead by two. Coffey's had the hot hand. Follows his own miss. Lost it, and a foul. A Coffey knew that that's two. Copeland has two. It struggled early, but now they seem to have settled in. Roby from the wing for three. Hyman, he's played well. Off the deflected pass, Palmer will shoot two. Yeah, it's, it's, tough to, it's tough to say because, you know, the... the yeah, I'll, I'll leave that alone, Court. <laughs> I'll leave that alone. The strength for James Palmer Jr. is this, getting to the free throw line. Well, he's, he's an old school heavy, but the court is where you find solace as a player. Palmer knocked it free from Murphy. He runs the floor. And Palmer lays it up and in inside the game. Palmer knowing that once he gets ahead of steam, very difficult to stop. Nebraska's forcing about 16 turnovers per game. When Nebraska started getting rolling, Minnesota had an answer. Allen.
Allen. Hyman. Can keep that going. No. Murphy, the tip follow. No. Kept it alive. Murphy tipped it one more time, but now here's Allen. Still back. Neither can Stuckman. Man, that George Murphy is listed as 6'7", only because of that afro. <laughs> he's really 6'5 uh, really and a half. Like so, Fletch. Yeah, man, I'm telling you, dude, his pursuit of the rock is uncommon. So, his effort. Palmer 12 of 14 at the free throw line of the win over the line eye on that and more coming up in the State Farm halftime report. So Mike Hall doesn't get a chance to talk, so he'll get a chance. And Murphy the rebound. Washington off the crossover, brought it low, got it back. Kelsher over Allen, and he's fouled. Game, because he's been grimacing a little bit. He's got a good poker face, but he's been grimacing a couple times. Early conference play, aren't you? Oh, man, it's, it's nothing. Roby against Murphy. Off the back iron, spun out, but tipped in. And As Amir was really going. Nine of ten from the free throw line in the first half alone, so Amir, probably the most aggressive player in the first half. Copeland started out the game pretty well. Had some good looks early on, and then they, they, did, they didn't go back to him. Al sure fouled on the rebound. And that time he was able, Gabe recognized it, went to the rim. Kalsher has missed three free throws, but impactful players. Palmer against Coffey, tipped out into the hands of Copeland, got a two up. Roby there. Here's the but I thought it might have been an ankle situation where you, you see guys tie their shoe up really tightly. Roby got Stockman up in a foul. Yeah, the fans are not happy with the replay. Stockman came in with the two coming out, so there's Roby at the line for two. Tino on three is lip saying, no way. He's had two points. Well, Coffey really trying to probe and look for an opening. Murphy contact. We to go to seven rebounds. Allen over Kalsher. Tough shot there. And Kalsher stripped by Allen. Palmer, the bounce. Watson against McBrayer off the rim. A late whistle and a foul. That your heart goes out to him. And again, I'll say it. All your life is get on the basketball floor. So it's good. From James Palmer, Jr. Where do the Gophers go for offense here? Steven down 13. You know what? I think Jordan Murphy's got to be the man. And right on cue. Against two defenders, pass tipped away and a turnover. Coffee has Kalsher to his left. Coffee all the way. Well, Coffee's got to be careful. You mentioned his foul trouble, and he's guarding probably the most dangerous Husker on the floor. Copeland. Copeland. Amir Coffee, 16 points. Could he add? On Morris and Amir Coffee's name came up, and, and the head coach wasn't shy about his words. Challenging Coffee, need more from him. The junior, he's played well tonight. Kelsher from the baseline, and for a brief moment under the basket. And now Palmer, the bounce to Roby, and he is fouled. Range game the fall. I mean, analytics in basketball kind of discourages the mid-range game, but you can really. Nebraska was great at the foul line on Sunday. Brayer has a score tonight. Here's Brock Stoll. McBrayer off the fake. And scores. First basket here tonight. Palmer lobs it to Copeland. Nice catch and score. Watson, can he save it? He does. Ball in the air. It's Stoll and now numbers. It's a four-on-one. McBrayer missed it. Oh, two of the offensive rebound in the dunk. Palmer with seven. Roby has to create with three and does in two more. No, the young man. He's that's the furthest thing from his personality. So on sportsman like the technical call. Not a they do. I mean, if it helps him play the way he does, so be it. Back a couple years ago, how well Watson played. Big Ten opener, Nebraska won at Indiana.
This has been a strength for the Huskers tonight at the line. Have yet to miss 10 of 10. And Roby makes that look. The three well, then they started getting to the, the rim. They got points off turnovers. They have... This game late and you're forced to foul. They're going to knock it down more That's times right. than not. That's right. There's Kalsher in the paint. That's been an... Approaching the eight-minute mark in the ball game. Eight-point game. Seven to shoot for Roby. Foul wanted a walk. Roby the miss. Timing off the deflection and a foul. Point game against Southeastern Louisiana back in November 11. So he splits two. And I'm, you know, McBrayer. Coffee has struggled this year from the three, but a couple guys can three guys can cover a lot of ground with their length. Season. Uh, takes a tour and spins out. Empty trip. Palmer lost it. Turnover Nebraska. There's Coffee. Coffee lays it up and in. Going to free McBrayer to come over the top. McBrayer off the glass. That's Coffee. Beg your pardon. It'll count. As we mentioned, challenged by his coach, and there is Richard Coffey. Uh, great job. A lot of attempts here in the second half. But this is where he starts to really shine. Fade away from Watson. Smooth. Plenty of time left for the Gophers, but that's a, a major league move by Glenn Watson. McBrayer up top for three. Big time shot there for McBray. Remember, hasn't picked up that fourth foul. He's been playing aggressive minutes here in the second half, still with three fouls. And now a whistle will be called, and they're going to get McBray. It's on line, and it kind of sucks some of the energy out of the building. Watson, 10 of 11 at the line this season, and, and so McBrayer is going to stay in with those four fouls. As a team, the lead. He's back up to five. Coffee's been doing this, but this time Roby has an answer. Off the deflection, it's Murphy underneath. Scores. Nice decision. McBrayer for the tie. Brown would have gone nuts had that gone down, and now Kalsher. This is a one and one. This will be his first attempt tonight. And it's McBrayer four, Coffee three, Kalsher three. Attacking and foul the team at the line. As the crowd is silent, depth expert analysis, the big show coming up after the game here on BTN. Rebound. Gophers last led 38-36 at the 258 mark in the first half. Murphy, he's fouled for four at the line tonight, 68% on the season. How fun will this be this season? We can't wait to narrate. This incredible. Murphy kicks it out. Coffee for three. Spectacular response by Minnesota. I know they were not happy with their loss at Ohio State. Thought they were dominated. They have responded tonight. Watson. What an answer. Number 10 for Kelsher. He's had some big shots early this season. Watson in the paint. Fouled by McGrayer. And that's a soda get back in this game. And Watson. Good free throw shooter. Shooting into animals. Shrek. <laughs> Lots of screen and roll here. Palmer poked it free. It's still loose. Over and back. It was deflected by Nebraska. It's Coffee. Two more. Copeland lays it up and in. And now there's the trap. Coffee in trouble. It's 0-2 with five. Needs some help with three. Coffee has to get it off. He does in time. It's off the rim. 0-2 with the rebound. It comes to Murphy and now Palmer and a foul. Curry back. He will be an integral part of their attack and will really bolster their front line. 
Nebraska has to go fast. Watson for three. Off the mark. Murphy the rebound. Murphy fouled with 4.3 to play. Pretty much sealing. Trying to compose himself. It looks like he's getting really emotional. Hugging Debris McGrayer right there. Final score from the barn. Minnesota 85. Nebraska 78.